Hey guys, this is Kate and I'm going to do this video a little bit different than I normally do process videos because since I upgraded my laptop to the Yosemite operating system, my um, iMovie recording is not working. So I'm sorry, I just need to get a baby wipe out. Um, is It crashes every time I start to record. So I don't know what's going on. And it's a new laptop, so who knows? This is the first upgrade I've done and I, I hate the Yosemite thing. It's not very good. Anyhow, so what I'm going to do is I did a bunch of prep work for this layout. So I'm going to talk you through and show you how I did all that prep work. And then um, I'll just kind of start and stop it as I go along. So the first thing I did was take a piece of the white cardstock and cut it down so that I can mat, um, so I can put it onto a piece of pattern paper. And the pattern paper that I'm using is the Ellie Studio Good Cheer Joy and Peace paper. And I really like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that down. I'm probably not gonna use a whole lot of adhesive right now because you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna kinda get it on there so it doesn't move around, but not, not permanently, permanently stuck down. So that's what we're starting with. And I'll cut the branding strip off, off when I'm done. The picture that I'm using is this picture from Paris. We went to Paris for Christmas last year, so I wanted to do a layout about that. So I'm gonna use that photograph, and then I'm going to use some different papers to mat the photo. This is one of the four by six cards that I cut from one of the Ellie Studio pattern papers, so I'm gonna use um, that as a layer. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up on foam squared or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use some removable adhesive to stick that down. And I'm trying to see what part of it I want to use, but I think I'm just gonna go right there. And then I'm just gonna trim around this. It's so different doing a process video and talking through it because normally I'm like watching YouTube or Netflix or something and not kind of really thinking about describing what I'm doing, so it's very different. And then for the second layer, this is another one of the four by six cards. Let me show you the paper I'm talking about that I cut up. Um, well, it's this paper. It's the Good Cheer Magical Paper. And so you have the two four by six cards the two four by three cards and then all the other little embellishments. So that's the one I cut up and I'm using different pieces of it. I didn't think I'd really use this four by six card. I always have another one if I want to. So I'm gonna use the red graph part of it. And I only put, oops, I only put adhesive on the middle. Oh, shoot. Because I never know I'm gonna try to layer something underneath it or something like that so wait a second yeah that's right so I'm just gonna trim the top a little bit because the sides are pretty good okay because I had put this this is one of the four by three cards and I just want this little edge this little blue edge. So I'm just going to put that aside. And then the last paper is from the Chamille or Chamel um, line. And it is like a ledger on one side and then this pretty neutral <clears throat> on the other side. And I just freehand cut that with scissors. So I'm going to use the corner of it that I know is straight because the other corners are not. So I'm just going to trim that down. like so okay and then I want to put this in there somewhere so I'm just gonna put that in there like so and then I can fiddle with it later so that's the base of the layout and then what I did was I took this piece of paper which is also from the LA Studio Good Cheer line. And I used my um, paper trimmer and I cut along the edges and then flipped it and cut this way. And what I ended up with are a bunch of little diamond shapes. 
like this. So I have all of these left and I picked out the ones that I wanted to use. And those are right here. And then I wanted some kind of like a glitter or sparkle on the layout. So what I did was I took, and you you get some gold glitter tape in the add-on kit, but um, I think it was last November's kit, we got the silver and I really wanted to use silver on this layout. So what I did was I took two strips of this paper, of this tape, and I stuck it to a piece of vellum. And then I flipped it over and I traced one of these diamonds and then I cut it out. So I have a shimmery silver diamond that's the same exact size and shape as the paper ones that I cut out. So that's a really fun way to use, um, you know, your tape to make an embellishment. Now I have to reference the photo I took of the layout because I can't remember where everything goes. Okay, so I had this stripe one up in the corner and then I had this one here with the blue one and the red letters and then I had the polka dot, the stars, this one and this one. So that's kind of the general um, configuration that I had them in. And then also I am going to be using two of the um, die cut stars from the Ellie Studio die cuts that we get in the kit. Oops. Yeah, so that, there's a red one and a gray one. And then this is one of the flare buttons from Chic Tags, I think it was. Yeah, it's yes, from Chic Tags. Things never look the way they did. Let me stick these down. Never look the way they did when you first put them in place. I swear, it doesn't matter. Even if you look at your picture. So then that flare went right there. And then let me stick this little gray one down. So, okay, now I'm going to think I'm going to stick my photo down. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it's straight. So I'm going to use my T-squared ruler and line it up on the side of my paper. And then I'm going to put some adhesive down. And I'm not like making sure that it's super stuck down right now because I know that I'm going to be sticking things underneath it. So I just want to make sure that it's straight. Okay. So now we have that in place. And now I think I want to add my triangles. Yeah. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm just gonna stick it. I'm just gonna stick it. Sorry, if this is boring, guys. And then I'm gonna put this one right there. And this one right like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I like to have them, like some of them underneath of the paper and some of them not. So it's kind of fun to be doing a Christmas layout because I didn't think I'd be working on Christmas so soon because it's just, well, I, mean, I guess it's not so soon, it's November. It kind of feels early. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Does it need another one? I kind of feel like it does. I think it needs one down here. Okay. 
Let's see. I have these extra ones. Let's see. I kind of feel like it needs just something else. I feel like this one needs gray. But see, this is where things can get, you know, where you can get over, go overboard. Like you can start adding stuff and adding stuff. And before you know it, you have, and I have a problem doing that. I have a problem with that. Where I just start adding things and then before I know it, it's taken over. Okay, but I like that. I really do. So I'm going to add that. I've done videos like that before where I show you like how things get out of control and then how I fix it. <laughs> but I can't do that on this one because if it gets out of control, it's going to be a lot of filming. All right. I'm happy with that. And then I wanted to use this wood embellishment that says enjoy every moment. So I'm going to stick that down in the top corner. Oops. Up here. Like so. And then I think it needs a little triangle next to it. And I think, <clears throat> well, I think that this side needs some gray. I'm just gonna add this right here. Maybe I'm not gonna put a triangle up there. I thought I was, but I don't think that I am. Okay, so for my title, what I want to do is, it's only 11 minutes, wow, can't believe it. Okay, so here's some other embellishments that I might use that I picked out of the Ellie Studio embellishments, and here's some wood, the wood veneer. But for my title, what I want to do is I want to use these thickers, which I am in love with, for the word Paris, which I have right here. So that is going to go like that. I know that for sure. And then I have these silver ones, but I think they're too big to do any like smaller words. Then I have these gray ones. And I also have these silver words, which I'm definitely gonna use. Cause I wanna say like Merry Christmas from Paris. And there's a big silver, like a dymo, that's what it looks like that says Merry Christmas. So I think what I'm gonna do is just stick this up here and I'm gonna put it kind of floaty, just a little bit. It's almost the exact width, which is perfect of this paper of the photo paper. Okay, so that's gonna say Merry Christmas. And then my letters are gonna go here. I'm not gonna put those down yet. Okay, so apparently my camera was full. I don't know what the last thing that was filmed was. But I was deciding, <clears throat> well I added this to the top that says Merry Christmas. And I was deciding on how to put from Paris. But when I get stuck like that and I don't know what to do, I move on to something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off the branding strip down here at the bottom because it's kind of distracting me. And then I'm going to use some of the Studio Calico silver star rub-ons that are in the kit that are adorable. Let's see what this branding strip looks like. Oh, that's cute. Let's see, can I use this somewhere? This is kind of how my thought process goes, guys. Mm. No. Okay, I'm gonna take these stock gold, not gold, silver star rub-ons. And normally I would cut apart the ones I wanted to use, but I'm gonna be lazy and just, well, no, I'm not because that's too difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna cut apart the ones, oof, I don't want to touch that. I'm gonna cut apart the ones that I wanna use and lay them where I want them, which is not that easy because it's not that easy to cut around stars. How do you put on rub-ons? Do you just like go for it and put the thing down or do you cut them off or, I don't know. I feel like that's a, rub-ons are not easy. So I want this kind of solid star here and then I want this one right there and I'm putting like just a little bit of it over the paper because I want them to not be like totally floaty I'm gonna cut some of these smaller ones 
and I like both styles of these. I like the solid ones and the like hand drawn ones. I think they're so cute. I have these in gold too and I love them. I'm like so afraid I'm gonna cut part of the, like, the good part off. Okay. So now, like I feel like I just did. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this little guy. Let's put this little guy right here. And then, I have like a small and a extra small size of these hand drawn ones. Put one there. Let's see. Put one here. And I need some bigger ones on this side. Let's do a hand drawn. Whoa. Like I'm touching the sticky part and I'm nervous. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this up. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, there. I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. So let's put a hand drawn one like that. Okay. And I have, let's see. Well, I'm gonna just put the, I have still have these two in my hand. I'm just gonna put those on for now. I'm going to take the stick that it came with and adhere them and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've put down all of the rub -ons. I'm gonna zoom in because I want to show you what happened. Part of this silver rub-on right here, it didn't, I, it moved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bigger star and hopefully position it correctly so that it covers it. And then this time I'm actually gonna hold it down because last time I didn't hold it down and that's what happened. It moved all over the place. And I'm going to adhere that. Now, I, these real bonds, I don't know if it's just because they're like really, really good ones or if it's because I'm using the textured side of this paper. I think that textured paper takes rub ons better. So if you're having trouble with rub ons try it on a texture paper. The other thing that I wanted to point out is on these ones where I have it going off the page, the key is when you're rubbing it in is to get right up on that crease and really rub it so that you can get it to come off. But I really like the way that those look. I think that it's super cute. And I was thinking about how I was gonna add like from, let me back up, from Paris on here. And I don't know if I am. I think I might just leave it the way that it is because I really like it. And I think the word from might muck it up because I just can't find the best way to do it. But what I think I am going to do is add this banner somewhere to put my date and things. And I'm thinking about this bottom right hand corner and I'm thinking about something up here because I feel like this thing is really lonely and it looks a little weird floating up there all by itself. So, I don't know. I can either add some more wood veneer so that it's not the only piece. And there are two stars in here that I could add, which might be the ticket. Oh, you know what I might do? I have these sticky on them and it's really good sticky. Like it stays. And if you pick them up and move them, it's they still stick because that's what I just did. Okay, so now I'm back to this, which is pretty plain. But what I'm going to do is add my, the strip of paper that I cut from the Ellie's 
studio paper. I'm going to add this at the bottom. Am I in frame? Oh, I am. Yay. Okay. I'm going to add that. And then I still need something in the upper left-hand corner. What am I going to put in the upper left-hand corner? I just don't know. I have these two other rub-ons I pulled. Do I want to add these somewhere? No, I don't want to go overboard with rub-ons. Um, let me see. I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to look through my older hip kit stuff and see if I can find something. The problem is I didn't use green in this layout. And I think that that's my challenge. That that's what's, what's throwing me here is that it's not like a real Christmassy layout, which I mean, that just shows you the versatility of the kits that you can make whatever you want with them. But that's why some of the words and stuff aren't working. And I think it's also because I did these triangles or these diamond shapes and this it's like very busy. So I need something kind of muted to put up in that corner. And I'm thinking wood veneer is going to be fun, sad, hello, crazy. It'd be awesome. I'm not sure. Let's see. I love the way that that looks, the combination of this wood veneer says hello and then these stickers. But since I put Merry Christmas up here, which I guess I could take off if it's not gonna trash the paper. Sweet. Okay. I think I'm feeling better about this already. All right. So I'm gonna stick this back down onto this sheet because I, I want to definitely use it, just not on this layout. I really like the way that looks. Okay, so we have Hello Paris. We still have not solved the upper left-hand corner problem. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to take some ink that we got last month, I believe. And if you got the stamp add-on this month, oh, the I think it's the same down. You'll get a red one of these, my favorite things, hybrid inks, which would be awesome on this layout, but I did, I don't have it. So I'm going to just use the gray and I want to put the date, which I, oops, which I use this from Target for. And then maybe something else. Oh, I have my little uh, date stamps on this little standard, um, it's like a vintage thing. It's really cute. I just got that recently. Okay, so this is going to be December 25th, 2013. Because this picture was actually on Christmas Day. Okay, let's get in frame here. So I don't want my date to be at the beginning or the end of the sentence. Whew. Oh, or it could, instead of putting something else, I could just do that, which I love to do. So, okay. So now I have the date. Let's add our hello word. This is from, um, I can't, I don't know what kit right off, right off hand, but I will try to look it up and put it below. So um, I'm not sure if the kit would be sold out or not. I, I have really have no idea to tell you the truth. But I'm gonna take this um, multi-matte medium from Ranger and hope it doesn't poof out on me like that. And just kind of dot it. Am I in frame? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Do I keep adjusting it to like show you guys stuff and I'm not sure if I'm in frame or not. This, filming this way is a lot harder than you would think. Like filming and talking. There's a girl here on YouTube, um, Katie. I don't know, she's a lawyer too, I think. I think Katie Scott is her name. Katie something. And she films these like 
hour, two hour, hour and a half long videos where she does layouts like basically live on film. Not live because you're not watching it in real time, but you know what I mean. Like she doesn't edit out anything, I don't think. And she talks like through the whole process of doing it and which I like to watch her videos while I'm doing projects, but I don't know how she does that. Cause like I'm having the hardest time concentrating on what I'm doing because I'm worrying about like what I'm saying and like not worrying about what I'm saying, but like making sure to explain what I'm doing and everything. I, oh my gosh, it would take me forever to do anything. Cause she doesn't like start to finish. Like she doesn't, well maybe sometimes she does, but the videos I've seen, she doesn't like do prep work or anything like that. Like I've done, you know what? I might just call it a day on this one and go with the sometimes less is more, you know? I am going to take, this is a really good trick that I like to do. I take some mini glue dots and, well, if I can find my little tool that I like to use, where is that little sucker? It's like a little craft knife, but it has a little handle on it and it's really old and like dingy, so I don't mind getting sticky stuff on it. Hang on, let me find it. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It's this thing. It used to cut, but it doesn't really cut anymore because like I said, it's kind of, it's very old. So <clears throat> what I like to do is take some mini glue dots and I'm going to fold it in half. And because this, these letters are coming off of the page, like there's like all that pattern paper underneath there, there's, it, they need a little bit of dimension, but they don't need foam dots because that would be too thick. So the, I have figured, I found out that if I use like two to three pattern papers, that the thickness of a mini glue dot folded in half makes them, makes the letters completely level. And I like to have a little bit of dimension behind my letters because it creates a little bit of a shadow. And then you can see that they're a little bit raised, which I really, really like. So that's why a lot of times I'll use hot glue um, to put letters down. Now these I think are a little bit too skinny to use hot glue for. I feel like I would make a total mess. So that's why I'm just going to use these mini glue dots. And this is, you know, it takes a little bit of extra time, but not too terribly long. And I feel like it really makes a difference. Plus it secures your thickers because I mean, you guys know chipboard thickers are notoriously not sticky. Like they just don't stay. I, mean, I can't tell you how many layouts I have and and I really need to put my layouts in albums. I'm really, really bad about that. I have like stacks of layouts that are not, I mean, they're just not albums. And there's, I could, that's how I know what, what things stick well and what things don't because I know what's falling off of them. And it's, a lot of times it is chipboard thickers. So I think I'm done. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole, oops, wrong way. So you can see the whole thing. So this is what the finished layout looks like. I really, really like it. I think I'm really happy with it. I, st if, in hindsight, if I knew I wasn't gonna put anything in this corner, I would have shifted everything up a little bit, just like just a tiny bit, just so that there was a little bit more space between this and this. Um, or I could just take this off and then it would be like perfectly balanced, but. All in all, I'm happy with it. I really like these pattern papers. I love these letters. I like the addition of this. You know, I I feel like you can make complete layouts and multiple layouts with using everything in the kit, but I also feel like that we get so many supplies in these kits. They, like, she puts so much stuff into these kits that whenever you have leftover stuff and they coordinate so well, I figure like, why not use it, you know? So if I ever do incorporate anything into a layout that you, you're like, oh, that's not in the kit. Then it's from a past hip kit. I don't hardly ever use stuff that's just like from my stash unless it's like a shipping tag or something like that. So you can just ask me, like if you see something and you're like, I don't know where that came from. Why is she using that? Just ask me and I'll be happy to let you know. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully next week we'll be back to normal with the voiceover and the video won't be so long. This video is probably gonna be like, I don't know maybe half an hour. We'll see. Okay, guys. Bye.